Another type of hierarchy that we might need to establish in analysis services is a parent-child hierarchy. This type of hierarchy is one in which the levels of the hierarchy are built from a self-referencing table, like we find with the DIM employee table in the AdventureWorks DW 2008R2 database. Here, the parent employee key column has a foreign key relationship to the primary key column, employee key. The benefit of this structure is that we don't have to know in advance how many levels exist in the hierarchy, nor do we need to create a level explicitly in the dimension. This type of structure is very flexible and used most often for organizational charts or for a chart of accounts in financial applications or for a bill of materials list for a manufacturing application. The self-referencing join in the table gets automatically detected and the attribute with the foreign key relationship gets added to the attribute pane with a special icon as shown here because its usage property is set to parent. Within a dimension, there can be only one attribute with the usage property set to parent. Another benefit of a parent-child hierarchy is the ability to store data in the fact table for non-LEAF members. For example, in the fact reseller sales table, we have sales transactions for salespeople, but we also have transactions for their managers. We use the members with data property to control whether the data for the managers is visible. By default, it's set to true, but we can hide the data by changing members with data to non-LEAF data hidden. In that case, though, the subtotals by manager are still correct and the amount can be inferred, so we don't use this technique as a security measure.